that my guides do actually listen to me. No, I know that they listen to me, but I just had an experience that was so much better than the experience I had this morning. This morning, I had what I consider to be quite a challenging experience. And the last couple of days, and I, by the way, I talked with you about my previous experience where I was in that weird place and it was astral projection and there was this person that kept trying to put their arms around me and hold me and all this other stuff and I was pushing them away. And this morning I had a weird experience too. It was so short that I don't even, I'm not going to really even go into it, but I was a bit disappointed that I really didn't have enough to share with you this morning. I was actually going to try and create a video, but there just wasn't enough there. I will just say this. The last few days have been a struggle, but my guides, who are amazing, just took me to a place that was quite amazing. Let me get into it. By the way, guys, in this place, there are times I've told you about my different ways of being able to transport I should first, though, tell you that I did not have storm sounds on, by the way. I just had relaxing music in the background, and I was relaxed. And I should tell you that earlier, earlier this morning, my brain just seemed like it was in a bunch of different places, and I wasn't able to focus. I was just having such a difficult time. And then finally, tonight, as I was relaxing, I was just really meaning to just kind of meditate because of the last few days. I was just, I just wanted to meditate and just rest my mind. I told my guides, I told those around me, I said, look, I'm going to just put this in your hands. You just take me where you want. Take me to a cool place. I'm just going to sit here and I'm just going to rest. And eventually my mind just calmed down and I was able to focus. And it was very nice. It was a very beautiful feeling. Listening to the music and just relaxing. But I will tell you that I think there are times when my guides, because my guides were in full control. And I can tell you this because... (sighs) I didn't feel any sense of movement, and I didn't necessarily feel a separation. I literally materialized in this place instantly. It was instant. And that has happened before, by the way, guys. That has happened before to me. And I do believe that that's my guides just taking over. So I wasn't really involved in, you know, actually separating, leaving, feeling the movement. This felt more like a beyond body kind of experience, but it could have been a hybrid. It could have been because I have had these hybrid experiences where I have um, gone beyond body and also left my body at the same time, which has been a little confusing. But let me tell you, I appeared in this place spontaneously and I believe I was carried in by my guides it was an apartment and it was nice it was normal now I don't this is the thing with this and I'm I'm always very transparent with you um, about these things in this place that I went to I don't have many, many details. I have generally what happened and I know it was a wonderful experience. I did bring back the name of the world I went to. And I remember when I was in this apartment, I was looking around and it was sudden. I was just there and it was like, okay, where am I? What's going on? What's happening here? I don't recognize this place. And then I saw a young lady 
she had dark hair, pretty attractive, maybe in her late 20s, early 30s. And when she saw me, I, I first of all, I wasn't nervous. Sometimes I, I tell you when I'm when I go into some of these places, especially if I'm in someone else's house or whatever, I feel nervous because I think to myself, well, you know, is this person going to come out and, you know, are they going to see me and that sort of thing. With this, this young lady saw me and she was friendly immediately with me. And she's the one that mentioned that I think her first words to me was something in, along the lines of, this is Modelo. And I said, Modelo? Like, the city of Modelo? Now, <laughs> I've never heard of a city called Modelo, so I'm sitting there going, okay, well, maybe, who knows? This is the city of Modelo. I don't know. I, I'm just in this place, and there's a city called Modelo. And, yeah, well, here I am. She said, no, she looked at me and she smiled and she said, no, this is the world. This world is called Modelo. Never heard of a world like that before. I've never heard of any place, but this lady was so warm guys. She was so nice, so sweet. I don't know if this was her true form. I have a tendency to believe that our minds, when we're having these kinds of experiences, translate things into a way that we can understand sometimes. Even if we go to a place that we perhaps cannot understand, our minds do the work, almost in the same way that I can translate Spanish into English. In the same way, the mind translates these things that are maybe indescribable to us, and they make it seem almost normal so that we can kind of understand what's going on. That's what I think happens at times. And with this lady, I don't know what her true form was, but she was beautiful. And I remember she came up to me and she put her arm around me. And it wasn't like the the previous experience that I talked about, right? It wasn't like that. This was very warm and this was very beautiful and I was just very happy. I, at first I was a little hesitant when she put her arm around me, but then I put my arm around her and we started walking together. And I, I remember telling her and saying I was from earth and it was all a very pleasant experience Modelo I want you to remember that Modelo because whatever that world is whatever that place is it was very pleasant now again as I told you I don't remember many details of our conversation with this I think another reason might be is because I was fairly tired when this happened. And I think my guides were like, okay, let's snatch him up now <laughs> because he's really tired. He's not very conscious. We can take him to this very beautiful place and he can just relax. And I am so appreciative of that. I do remember that we walked outside of this apartment. And I think we were in some sort of common area and we were just continuing to walk and we were having a pleasant conversation. But also, let me tell you, it was so interesting because before we gotten outside, when we were walking, we were just starting to walk through this, what I perceived to be an apartment. It may not have been an apartment, but what I perceived to be an apartment, I was telling her how different this place was, that this place was very different. Even though from what I was seeing, my, my first perception was I'm walking down the hallway in an apartment, but for some reason, in some way, I instinctively knew that this place was way different than our earth. This place was way different. On some deeper level, on some instinctual level, guys, I understood that this place was different. Modelo is a beautiful place. 
and I'm so happy that I came, that I went, and I needed it. I needed it, guys. I really did. I needed a place that was relaxing, where there wasn't someone trying to jump on me or something. It was very nice, and I held, I, I walked with her, basically with my arms around her, and we walked outside, and we continued to have our conversation, but at one point, I think I began to lose my grip on things because as we were talking, um, she was speaking what I perceived to be English, but in the end, as I was leaving, her language changed to something I, I could not recognize and I couldn't tell you what it was. She seemed to be making sounds or there were seemed to be sounds that were coming out that were unrecognizable to me. And then suddenly I was back. I was back here and I opened my eyes and I smiled. And even though I don't remember all of the details for this, guys, I am very grateful that I had this experience. Um, I'm going to again say thank you to my guides for showing this to me. This really did. And perhaps on another occasion, I will tell you about the experience I had this morning, though, I, as I said, it was a very short experience and it was a very strange experience. And I do have those types of experiences sometimes. So anyway, thank you so much for coming on another journey with me. And until next time, take care. <laughs>